That's right. We are back with more reports. We've got a problem. <laughs> I have yet to learn dwarven fortress defenses that we have a giant snake that our militia commander Josie is about to go attack. He has no armor. <laughs> I don't think this will end well. I need to get arm. I have basically only started my fort. I have almost nothing that I need getting produced as of yet. I need to fix that as soon as possible. Here we go. Good day, gamers. Welcome to another Game Master Dave Plays. Uh, let me know if the volume is good enough. Where we are playing some Dwarf Fortress. So strap in, grab your pickaxe, and level up. That's right. We're going to level up, or actually, potentially, in Dwarf Fortress, level down. <laughs> I guess that's definitely possible. Okay, we have a little bit of book real quick because I've been talking to my friends who I have uh, and I've told them what all their jobs are and our chief medical dwarf physician is currently vacant so Chris L has decided to be he's our fisher dwarf he has also decided to be our chief medical dwarf now here's the problem he doesn't have a hospital yet so one of these rooms over here is going to be his hospital but right now, we can't be messing around with that. We got a problem. Oh, I can't. Where is it? Somebody's fighting the snake, and we have we have somebody seriously injured. Okay, there's Josie. There's Josie. Let's see. What does he have on him? His items. He has a bronze buckler and a water skid. Josie, where's your axe? This is not good, Josie. He forgot his axe. He's a proficient metal crafter, just the kind of person we need. Oh, he's an adequate fighter. Okay, that's good. He's in the last archers. Um, okay. Let's see. Uh, just as a reminder, our dwarves here. Chris T is a miner. Greg S is a miner. Steve O is a miner. Rich N is a carpenter. Cal E is our expedition leader. Chris L is our chief medical dwarf now. Ginger is our herbalist. <coughs> Rich is our bookkeeper. And Skull Crusher is our clerk. Oh, should we go check on... Let's go check on our uh, necromancer. Yep, there is our necromancer trapped in the walls. Um, they're getting a little restless after unable to, they haven't crafted in a while. So I bet they're going to be quite unhappy. We have a lot of unhappy dwarves too. We basically only started this, started this, uh, started this fort. So Lorban Nogol, he's upset. Why is he upset? He's afraid after experiencing trauma. So easily broken, be gone fear. Horrified after receiving Ravad Talrim die. Who is Ravad Talrim? Oh. I know who Ravad Talrim is. I didn't know who this dwarf was. But we have a troll. Where is it? There is that troll. And there is Ravad Talrim's corpse. And he comes down to it. Um. Silver coin, a silver coin, silver currency of Wernadur under Susab Nether on the front. This is cool stuff down here. And there is our troll. Items none. Uh, she was uneasy after not being able to help anybody for too long. Chat is open. Send me a comment, message, subscription, like, follow. Uh, and oops, I meant to mention that there was a that was a bucket. There was a, a bunch of wood is in the water. So when they cut down the tree, it all fell. Okay. 
Josie's going to be fighting soon. Let's pin ourselves to Josie. Right? This one is, uh... Send this creature to a link site or expel this creature entirely. Heck no. We want to... How do we, uh... I thought I could follow him. Oh, the movie. That's right. He follows me. Okay, so here we go. We're going to see where Josie goes. See where this... Oh. Maybe that snake went away. But there was somebody, like, seriously wounded. Where is the guy that's seriously wounded? Did we not save the game? Did the wounded guy come back in? Well, I guess we'll get a fighting message here in a, in a hot minute. So as soon as we get a fighting message, we're going to go find out what's going on. Because I thought, yeah, let's see here. Okay. Oh, man. Did I not save it? That would be very, very sad if I didn't save that. All right. So now I've got a couple things I need to do here. Uh, and one of them is make a hospital. Uh, so let's um, dig out some more space up here on this one. Oh. Uh, this is the dining hall. Okay, there we go. Alert. Okay, so the guy died. All right, so the bone carver. Here we go. Uh, not a problem. The Bushmaster Northward is in is fighter. The bone fighting. Wait, we don't want the Bushmaster. That's the Bushmaster is that snake. Uh, the Bushmaster is having trouble breathing. Interesting. The recruit strikes the Bushmaster in the body with a pommel of uh, his, her bismuth bronze short sword, bruising the muscle and tearing. We got to go to these things. Okay, I thought Josie went out there. Where is it? Nethrazam's cor corpse? What the heck? A whole bunch of stuff. Was the Bushmaster called Nethrazam? Where is, where is the bone carver? Did we defeat the Bushman? Joe, I guess, I guess he got defeated. Uh, the recruit attacks the Bushmaster, but he jumps away. The recruit slashes the Bushmaster in the body, hit him, an artery, okay. Okay, but I thought that there, wasn't there a guy that was like seriously wounded? Yeah, there's like. Who did the Bushmaster attack? The Woodcutter attacks the Bushmaster. The Bushmaster bites the Woodcutter. Yeah, where is this guy? Okay, so actually, we need to go through this dwarven uh, little thing here. Hey, uh, chat is open. If you got any questions, let me know. Somebody is seriously. Everybody's working. <laughs> I don't know who's wounded. I don't know how the person died. So, oh, so we need to go there. Okay, so here is Rava Talrim's dwarf blood. So, so that's not the one that who died inside the troll. Uh, yeah, I think you can. I think you can. I think you can. My my wife. Okay, yep. All right, so. We do not have a tomb yet either. All right, so the emergency now is to build. We need to build a, uh, a grave. Okay. All right, so we could, we could do that going up. Why don't we do that going up? I was going to do farms up here, but then... Uh, Yes, I know. Yes. I got a human hammer visiting. Okay, Ginger canceled some things. Yes. Oh, the woodcutter. Oh, man, our first death in our forest. Very unfortunate. So let's do all of this. Nope. Ah. 
Okay, so it gets rid of everything. Uh, I've been having some problems with my mouse, I think. It's just... It, like, I gotta hit it really hard twice. Okay. And then, let's see. That one goes there. So, that. Like, if I don't... It's weird. My mouse is really... There we go. It's not acting very nicely. I don't like the way my mouse is. Okay, so I need to do that. All right, so... Um, we're going we're gonna to dig that out. While they're coming up to dig that... hallway and um, oops okay so Hopefully we'll get some miners coming up here pretty soon. So that wasn't so bad. I thought, the, hey, Rich, if you don't have a hospital, you should at least have a tomb. That's right. <laughs> the hospital and the tomb for color. And I put this in the wrong place. The tomb is coming up here. That's right, Rich. Got to have a tomb. Where's my miner? Why aren't they coming up here? No job, miner. Get busy upstairs. Greg. Greg is sitting there doing nothing. So, miners. That's right. Get with the program. He is hauling right now, I think. Or he was taking a break from hauling. Greg, how could you take a Hey, look, an animal is growing to become a stray horse. Nice. So the uh, snake is dead, Rich, which is nice. Josie didn't kill it, though. The woodcutter killed it and then subsequently died. Let's go check. Okay, so Greg's got a job of storing an item in a stockpile. They should be coming back. They should be coming up to mine pretty shortly. There is our necromancer in the middle of the room. We could make that the tomb level, too, but I thought it might be nice. Like, the graveyard will be up above, maybe. Okay, now, in the meantime, while that's getting built, we need to designate our hospital. Okay, so we still got to dig out. We still got to smooth floors. There's a lot of stuff we got to do today. A million things to do on this. Okay, but now let's see. Our this is our dining room has no tables because uh, I feel like we've been <laughs> we've been deficient. So let's put some more tables in there, right? Uh, so this is our dining room. So we're gonna make little cafe tables. Um, wow, well, we don't have a lot of. So let's put another chair in there. So at least some people are going to have somewhere to sit down. And lime wood chairs. Very interesting. Orange wood chairs. Let's look at that. Okay, we got our altar going, so that's good. Uh, what we need to do here is do some carving around here. Around here. Yep, that's good. Oh, I did it on the floor now. Could. All right, so I hope we got some doors working. What else we got going on? Let's check these jobs. Drinking, drinking, and digging. Hey, Steve finally got the point and went off to dig. 
and our dwarf clerk necromancer is very angry for being stuck in the walls. Oh, she's attending a meeting right now. All right. Yeah. Okay. So she's done with carving. So she can do go back to what she's doing. Uh, we're brewing plants. We're smoothing floors. We're storing items in stockpiles. Uh, yeah, we're getting a lot done. All right. So whether it has started raining, that's unfortunate. Okay. So now let's see if we can get this stairwell to operate. Do -do -do -do. Okay, good. And they still haven't gone up there to dig. That is not priority one, so I don't understand why. That, uh, is it because there's no the stairwell hasn't been dug out yet? Maybe the stairwell is not priority one? This should be an upstair, and it doesn't look like it is. It's only coming from down below. Yeah, I have been having the biggest problem with my stairs. For some reason, this stair does not want to go down here. Okay. So I can't get them up there. Maybe I need to construct. Ah, I've already dug the stairs, so now I need to construct the stairs. That's what is the problem. That is what... That didn't work either. I got problems with my mouse. This is this is not good. Why is my mouse getting problems? Or at least I think it's my mouse. So if I have a stairwell, how do I construct the stairs going up? Let's see. Uh, furniture, not furniture. Um, constructions. Stairs. Okay. So we want to go there. Must span multiple elevations. Okay, so then let me let me right click off of that. Let me erase that. Okay, now let's try it. I'm sure this just a, like a simple, ridiculous fix. And I just can't see it. What did it say? Cannot build at this location. Huh. Let me see if I can at least get a stairwell going up at a different location. Okay, so let's make a stair. Uh, no, I got stairs going there. So let's build one there, going up. Uh, like it's, it doesn't even want to do that. Must span multiple locations. Okay. <laughs> I'm like really having a tough time with this. And this has got to be the simplest thing. See, it does it going down. Uh, stair. Constructions. Stair. It's like I can't get that level going. Okay, so we're not going to mess around with it anymore. We are going to build a tomb level. We're going to build some tombs in that too. Okay, so actually we got to make some uh, rock coffins first. So what do we got going on over here? Hey, it's grown to be a doe rabbit. An animal's grown to be a stray mule. Beautiful. Okay, step ladder's been completed. Drinks have been completed. We got 99 drinks. Um, where is the stairwell here? So let's 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 dig another level down. Uh, so there definitely is a. I, I don't know what it is, but no, nope, that's not what I want to do. Okay. Okay. 
So then I can do two that way. And then create a hallway here. Yep, so they're making that stair right now. See how easy that was? That's like unbelievable. trying to make this sort of symmetric. Okay, what is, what's going on over here? Human Bard is visiting. Native gold. Okay, awesome. Uh, left click to recenter, right click to dismiss. Stevo, minor withdrawals from society. What the heck? <laughs> Steve, where are you going? Wait, where's where did Steve go? Okay, wait a second. Let's pause now, right now, right? Okay, I gotta snip this one. Oh, so withdrawing from society might mean that he. I'm too extreme. I'm not too sure. Wait, what was that? Oh yeah, we need we need the herbalist. Maybe we need to come to the rescue. You need you need to go talk to Steve. There's something going on. I don't know. I'm just gonna go try to find him. It just said Steve withdraws from society. <laughs> okay, so let's wait, we've got an emergency here. Let's go find Steve. There's Steve. Okay, let's go find out where he is. Hey, Steve. It ain't so bad. Uh. Oh, he's in a strange mood. That's what he is. He's in a... Oh, oh. He's in a strange mood. What that means is that he is going to go... An artisan, their materials and the tools to shape them. He is going to go uh, find a workshop and hang out in there. Okay, so let's find out what workshop he's going to go to. And then he's going to make an artifact. Okay. Or he's going to leave. I'm not too sure what he's going to do. Okay, so there we go. We should get a, a notification here. He has gone to the stone workers workshop. <laughs> and Daigle... Oh, so this is what's weird about this. Steve O is his name. See, Steve O, Bigot Kiga, but his his original name was Degel. So he's uh. Anyway, so what happens is he's gonna go in there. He's gonna go collect materials. Who knows what he's gonna go collect? We probably don't have the materials he needs. Thank goodness he's in the stone workshop because we got tons of stone stuff. And he is going to um. He's going to make something. He's going to make an artifact. And uh, so that's that's generally what's going to happen now. So that's pretty wild. We'll take it. Is there another duck hanging out? What is this thing? This is Skull Crusher detailing the wall. And I think there's another duck here. Yeah, there's a duck. We could try to eat the duck. Okay, so we still need to get the hospital working. We need to get the barracks working. We are so far behind in everything we are doing. Um, okay, but we need a ruler there eventually. Now, we should be carving these offices. This is where everybody's going to visit. Yeah. Okay. So they're working away up there. Oh, I've got oh, I've got all ones on now. I think I don't need that. Uh, oh, hello, Alexi uh, Ilexius. Ilexius? I can only stay for a few, but wanted to say hi. Hello, how are you doing? Thanks for stopping by. Uh, we defeated a giant. Uh, somehow we defeated a snake of some sort. Uh, Ginger, somebody else has become a herbalist, so. 
Um, I forget. Uh, I forget how to pronounce your name. Il, Il, Il Exius, is that about right? <laughs> oh, we've got our bedroom network working really well down here. Let's play some cabinets. We, it's like crazy how much work we have to do. Let's see. What kind of cabinets do we have? Beautiful. Uh, that's it? Just the one? Might just be the one. That's it. Okay, we got to make sure we got cabinets coming. We need the cabinets. Make wooden cabinets. There it is. Okay, now one of the things I, I thought of in downtime was we got to, uh, we got to make, um, we got to make another wood. We're going to make another carpenter shop here. That's what I have been desperately needing. We need a second carpenter workshop. One, I got too much wood that I'm making, too many wood items that I need, and I don't have enough carpenters. Now, there's, we want to use uh, blocks if possible. There's rhyolite blocks. Now, I don't know if rhyolite is a good thing to use because uh, what we need to do is we need to go to uh, make objects. Um, uh, we have necropate. And that was <laughs> Rob Ravig, who's now dead. It was his family heirloom. I'm sorry, dude. Sorry. Stone, stone use. So what was the stone I just used? Uh began with an R, wasn't it? We gotta be careful here because some of the stuff like obsidian we don't want to make things out of because it makes really good sharp blades. Magnetite we'd re we'd prefer not to make stuff out of. Uh okay, pretty much. I see it. I'm pretty good, just chilling after the first week of second semester. Yes. I uh, I just finished a whole bunch of work this week too on my Empire State College. I'm getting a degree in finishing my degree in finishing my degree. So that's good. Okay, so our hospital is coming along. All right, so this got dug out, which is nice. So let's smooth all this. All right, and then we're gonna engrave and smooth, and engrave and smooth, and we gotta make some. Got to make some. Uh, I'm feeling dark. My life turned off. The, <laughs> turned off the kitchen light. So anyway, Josie didn't die. So that's good. I have struck opal. Okay. So they're digging over there. We got to make a. We forgot. We got to make a coffin. So let's. Um, Let's make a new thing here. We've got to do this. Let's do the stone workers uh, workshop. And I forget what it's called, right? Is it just coffin? Yeah, there it is, right? Rock coffin. So we'll make some of those. Um, so I, I, I'm, I'm digging this gold. Well, actually, is that, is that gold? Yeah. Wait, is that gabbro or gold? That's rough hewn gold. OK, we, we got enough gold right now. We can we don't even have a smelter working yet. We don't even have a hospital yet. We don't even have a barracks yet. So I think that's going to be. Oh, look. Wait. Okay. Stevo Figan Kigeth Miner has created Dolimnestem, a Galena great. <laughs> Steve created a great. He claims it as an heirloom. Wait a minute. I tried to keep a track of events. Um, uh, great. Great. He created a great. Good job, Steve. And he claims it as an heirloom in the name of the family ancestor, Adel Girdle. Now, should I take a picture of this? No, well, no I can't. Yet. Okay, so let's go here. <laughs> Rich, you still there? Are you enjoying this? Please text Steve that he created a family heirloom great. <laughs> Rich, what are you up to? Do you want to see what you're doing?
I don't know why I didn't save. Didn't keep my thing open. Oh. Um. Spear. Spear rack. 101. Steve-O. Creates a great A. I'm sorry. Galena. Family. Heirloom. Ah! Okay, thanks, Alexius. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Good job, Steve. Good job. Uh, Rich, I am watching... Um, I am watching... Uh, what's it called? Bernie Madoff thing. On... Um, on... Uh, What's it called? On Netflix. It's crazy, man. Crazy. Okay, so see, now some of those stairs are going down, and then they go down. And some of them go back up. So what the heck happened? What the heck happened? We need more cabinets. Okay, so I got a few with cabinets. So actually, we can create a zone here. Let's create a bedroom zone. I can just do this one, unfortunately. Except... Right, and because I mean they're using the beds. Let's see if we can place some more beds. Um, furniture. What do we got in stock for beds? Uh, I think all these ones down here have beds. These don't. Do, 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 do. Okay. Cool. Oh wow, we got tons of beds. Bet I can't place it there. Oh, I can. Cool. Okay. So we're getting ready. Oh, doors. So we've got to get some doors in there. Yeah, these guys are sleeping without the doors. They don't even have like a, a true bedroom here. Oh, I can't put it there because that that's the one I can't put it there because it's too far. Guava wood door. It's so fanciful looking. Orange wood door. Hey, I'm in the orange room. Where are you staying? I'm in the lime room. I'm in the carambola world. Uh, so Bertie made a Maddox is supposed to be what? Uh, spell check. <laughs> what are you saying? Uh, let's see what you're doing, Rich. You are smoothing a floor. <laughs> there you are, Rich. You're healthy. Hey, you're satisfied at work. Your affection. You have affection remembering make, making what? He felt affection remembering making a friend. He felt lonely after being away from his family too long. He was satisfied at work. He felt satisfied upon approving stone cutting. He was embarrassed after sleeping without a proper room. <laughs> Does that sound about right? Okay, so I can't put the door in there yet. Yeah, so there's something wrong. Oh, I see. Okay, I don't think I want to add the doors. All right, so now, um, so I got the smoothing done. This, we're going to make this the, wait, we got to put a door there. Door, door, door. I'm getting, like, heavily distracted because there's too much to do. I got to play more often, right? Uh, we'll put a willow door there. And, you know, we'll put a door down here, too. Um, there's too much to do, Jacob, too much to do. And uh, we'll put a willow door over here. And I can't put a door there. Let's see. Did you roll a one, Rich? Let's see. What are we all doing? At least the kobolds guys are not around. They. Uh, so Chris L. is now currently drinking. Okay. We need to get him. Where's the craft dwarves store? Because we have to make at least... Uh, we gotta make a. I think we have a crutch. Wait, let's see. I think we have a crutch. We need at least one crutch for the hospital. We do. Beautiful. Date palm crutches. Okay, 
we don't have a traction bench no okay so we got to make a traction bench now i don't remember how to make that so um carpenter's workshop add a task uh okay so it's got to be a table okay that's right and uh, maybe it's the craft dwarfs let's see if it's the craft dwarfs add a task traction no i don't remember okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna pause the game real quick i'm gonna look on wikipedia anybody out there anybody watching send me a note how do i make that traction bench traction bench um sounds good Hospital requisition thread costs plaster buckets soap. I gotta make buckets. Uh, uh, okay. Okay, but for Chris, he needs a traction bench. Uh, let's see. One table, at least one table. At least one traction bench. At least one con uh, place containers. Enough beds for un wounded. Place one of the traction benches. Yes, but how do you make it? Anybody remember how to make a traction bus? Who's watching out there? Uh, I got all that, but how do we make the traction bench? Traction benches is constructed in a mechanics workshop. And requires a table and a mechanism and a rope and a chain to construct. Okay. So let's go back. Uh, do I have the I do. I have the mechanics workshop. Make traction bench. Okay. But I may not have the rope. And I may not have a table. So let's see if that, get, that job gets canceled. Okay, cool. So we made some progress. I'll notify Steve about his uh, wonderful uh, Galena... Uh, uh, Galena uh, Great that he has claimed as a family heirloom. Let's go take a last look at him, actually. Steve, it should be in his items, so uh, he's not even happy about it. Look, he's, he's a sad guy. Um, so let's look in his items. There he goes. Oh, no, he's calling a guava wood door. No, that's not what I mean. <laughs> he has water covering his entire body. What did you do, Steve? Oh, he was out in the rain. Oh, that is funny. But where is his... Where is his uh, grate? Don't know. Hey, everybody, thank you so much for joining me tonight uh, for another evening, fun-filled evening of Dwarf Fortress. And give yourself 100 experience points. Rich, thanks for stopping by. Lexus, thanks for stopping by. And until we meet again across the Internet, keep your... Maestri, your keyboard's ready, and the Dwarf Fortress is strong! And good job, Josie. Good job, Josie. And Steve. Talk to you guys later. Thank you.